hello guys so on a video that i made yesterday um, which was going over the cve 2021 41773 which was for the apache server um apache http server path traversal which was a zero day i show you guys how to do that um, proof of concept but there is also um including this path traversal um, I found out that there is also a uh, remote code execution exploit on this Apache as well, and it's the same version 2.4.49. Um, so let's go ahead and and let's go ahead and give it a try. Um, so, like I said before, for this um, C CVE, there's two um, basically exploits. One is a path traversal, and the path traversal basically leads to remote code execution. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, you can see that I, I have it running over here. Uh, let's go ahead and do a quick nmap scan. And this is going to be for port 8080, 192, 1.6, 8, that 1.96. Um, so like I said before in the previous video, I just show you guys how to do the path traversal, but on this one, what we're going to be doing is um, we are going to be doing the other exploit, which is uh, remote code execution, which is um, a lot higher than just a path traversal, right? Because with a path traversal, what you can do is you can just read files um, and, you know, or, or get to files. Uh, but this one, you can actually execute code. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, and I have it, um, what we're going to be doing is I'm just going to be basically running, um, the commands and it's going to be a curl, um, command. Here it is. We are going to the same IP address, right? Um, the, the port number 8080, we are going to get to the CGI dash bin. And over here, we're going to basically do the path traversal. And then we are going to execute, execute a command. And the command that we're going to be executing is going to be, did I not copy this correctly? Let me go ahead and paste it again. There we go. Um, so I, I just want to do an ID first. And you can see right here that we are daemon. Um, you can also do a uname A to see what we are running or what is running. You can see that it's on a Linux 5.80 generic. And it's running Ubuntu SMP. Okay. Um, you can also do an LS to list the file. So you can see it over here. That is listing it. Let me go ahead and close that. There we go. Um, so we are wondering how can you, you know, do like a reverse shell or something like that. That's what we are going to be doing. So first, uh, what I want to do is uh, I'm going to be listing it on port 21. Um, and let me see before I do that, I'm going to show you my IP address, local IP address 192.168.1.160. So let's go ahead and start listening over here. And what I'm going to be doing is that um, I am going to basically create a file, and inside of that file, we are going to be adding a bash um, so we can get um, a remote uh, or a reverse shell. Um, so let me see, I am listening. Cool. I'm still listening. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to paste this command over here. We are going to, um, we are going to create this file over here, which is going to call, I'm just going to call it. Yes. You can call it whatever you want. And we are going to add that, um, shebang over here, right? So inside over here, after you do that, if you want to, um, verify that it's actually um, working what you could do is you can just do a cat to verify that it, that it was put in there and you can see um, that we put that shebang in there um, so the next one what I want to put in there is that um, reverse shell using bash um, as you can see over here that's my command bash and I'm going to send it to my IP address on port 21 which is where I'm listening right and I'm going to add that to the yes um, that sh file. Uh, we can do a cat again, and you can see here's what um, that yes that sh 
um, file has inside, right? We are, just, we are just going to send a reverse shell to my machine. So then after that, um, what you need to do is just execute it and you should get a reverse shell. There we go. You can see that it is hanging, which is a good thing, right? If you um, work with, you know, hack the box or whatever you're hacking a machine, basically, whenever something is hanging, it's because you got a reverse shell. So let's go and take a look at my shell. Boom, there it is. I got a reverse shell. You can do ID. Um, who am I? Right? Uh, you can do a U name. Oh, you. You name A, you can see, you can see list, you can see the, to the, let's see if there's anything in the home directory. It's basically nothing in here. Can you get to the root? Probably not. Permission deny. You can cat Etsy password here. So there we go. So that's how you're basically um, just approval comp set on how to um, you know, exploit this um, vulnerability that is going around uh, with Apache um, 2.4.49. So thank you guys for watching. And if you guys want, um, you know, more videos like this, um, just leave a comment um, below. Um, and like I said before, I'm just working on my OCP, trying to get my OCP. Um, I am using Proving Grounds, Vonhub, and also hack the box. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.